Hello and welcome to Retired Desi. Today we are sharing our recipe for a healthy kulfi made from frozen yogurt. This is a very easy and quick to make delicious and creamy dessert. Here are the ingredients for today's recipe. We purchased the kulfi mold from our local desi store. If you do not have powdered sugar substitute, grind the sweetener you do have in a coffee grinder. Place the 500 grams of Greek yogurt in a mixing bowl and hand whisk it to soften and remove any lumps. Add a powdered sugar substitute of your choice. The amount you will add will depend on the sweetness of the sugar substitute, the sourness of the yogurt and how sweet you like your desserts. Add 10 grams each of roughly ground raw pistachio nuts and blanched almonds and half a teaspoon of freshly ground green cardamom powder. Add saffron that has been soaked in one tablespoon of warm cream. An optional ingredient is a few drops of kevra essence. Add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, mix all the ingredients well and then keep in the fridge for 10 minutes to let the xanthan gum and saffron work. Remove the mixture from the fridge, you should see a change in the texture and the colour. Carefully spoon the yoghurt mixture into the kulfi moulds. Our moulds have a capacity of 6 tablespoons each. Bang the mould on the counter to settle the yoghurt and remove air bubbles. Cover the opening of the mould with aluminum foil, cut a small slit in the foil and then push a popsicle stick halfway down the mould. Place the kulfi moulds in the freezer for a couple of hours, preferably overnight. To remove the kulfi from the mould, place them in room temperature water for about a minute. Then loosen the kulfi by gently turning and simultaneously pulling it out of the mould. Serve immediately. There is no need to decorate the kulfi before you serve it, we did so because we are taking photographs. We hope you will try this recipe and share it with family and friends. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks once again for your support Till next time.